Having a cat can mean different things to different people. Some want a cat to cuddle and sit on their laps, others are happy to live with a very independent cat that spends most of its time outside and doesn't want too much human interaction. What is important is that you try to find a cat that will interact with you if you want it to. All cats are not the same and how each individual cat behaves with you can depend on its inherent personality and early experiences, which can make it fearful or confident with people and life in general. The environment in which you keep a cat is also extremely significant, for example if it lives with many other cats which do not get on, then it will be stressed and will react differently than if it was on its own. While there is no guaranteed way to choose the perfect cat for you and your lifestyle, Understanding your expectations as well as what makes cats tick will help you to bring home a cat that should be able to cope with its new environment and be the pet that you want to. To care for a cat you will need to Provide plenty of human companionships Provide regular, suitable meals with a constant supply of fresh water Provide a clean and comfortable bed Provide the cat with outdoor access or be prepared to empty and clean a litter tray on a daily basis Provide it with a stimulating and safe environment Groom it regularly. Long-haired cats require daily grooming. Have it neutered between 4 and 6 months old. Vaccinate against the major feline diseases regularly. Worm regularly and provide treatment for fleas. Take the cat to the vet when it shows any sign of illness. Ensure your cat or make sure you can afford the cost of any veterinary treatment it may need. How much care and attention does a cat need? As pets go, cats are relatively low maintenance compared to dogs which need companionship, walking, training, etc. However, like any pet, they do need care, and some cats need more care than others. Do you want to spend a lot of time with your cat, do you want it to be demanding, or do you have limited time? Cats can fit into busy, modern lifestyles more easily than dogs, as they are pretty independent, can be left alone much more easily, and are more suitable for smaller flats or houses. Cats are often chosen by people who have busy and stressful lifestyles and who want some companionship when they go home to relax. What do you want from your relationship with a cat? If you're the kind of person who really needs to have a close relationship with your cat and to be able to handle it and have it interact with you, then you'll be disappointed if you take on a nervous cat that hides every time you come into the room. You may want to think about one of the pedigree breeds which can be more interactive and perhaps more needy of a human company than some moggies. This may however become a problem for the cat if you are out at work all day and only available to give attention on evenings or weekends. Some cats need to know exactly what's going to happen when in order to feel relaxed. Such cats would be quite happy living with an old lady who rarely has visitors and leads a very quiet life, but would probably find it quite stressful living in a home full of kids and other animals with lots of visitors and activity. Other cats, however, might thrive on different interactions with lots of people and fit in perfectly well in a busy household. If you're not likely to have the time or inclination to groom a cat on a daily basis, don't even think of getting a Persian or a cat with a long coat. In pedigree jargon, any cat with a longer coat, aside from a Persian, is called semi-long-haired because the coat is not as full as the Persian's and does not have such a thick undercoat. However, it is still long and requires grooming. In addition, if you are extremely houseproud, you may not want lots of hair everywhere. A short-haired cat is a much easier option as most cats are fanatical about their coats and keep them in immaculate condition. That's not to say that they don't leave hairs around, bear this in mind if you're thinking of getting a white cat but have dark furniture, or vice versa. Likewise, a cat is quite likely to sharpen its claws indoors, often on the stair carpet, sometimes on the furniture or even on the wallpaper. Whether your cat does this can depend on the cat itself and also the environment you provide for it. However there are things you can do to try and deal with this, but it is best to acknowledge from the outset that your cat is an animal with free will and natural behavior that may not suit someone who needs to have an immaculate house. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Can I keep a cat on vegetarian food? Are you a vegetarian and want your cat to be one too? If you want a vegetarian pet that won't challenge your beliefs, then it would be better to get a rabbit, a cat is a carnivore first and foremost and looks and behaves as it does for just this reason. A cat is what is called an obligate carnivore, it has an absolute need for some of the nutrients found in meat and all of its senses of smell and taste are attuned to being a carnivore, it would be unfair and very dangerous to health to even attempt keeping it as a vegetarian. Feeding your cat or kitten. Is there a type of cat which doesn't hurt? You may have a great aversion to your cat hunting outside. Perhaps you are a bird lover or are simply unable to deal with small carcasses on the floor. Hunting is normal behavior for cats. 
Keeping a cat indoors may prevent it from actually killing anything, but it will still need an outlet for this, its most instinctive behavior, and not all cats will be happy with an indoor lifestyle. Likewise, if you're simply getting a cat to keep vermin at bay, you won't want to find yourself with one which isn't especially interested in hunting, shooting, and fishing and prefers being a couch potato. Older cats are likely to hunt much less than younger ones and some cats don't bother at all, but there is no easy way to know how a cat will behave. Can I keep a cat indoors? If you think about the lifestyle of a cat which has access outdoors you will realize that being outdoors brings a huge variety to its life and allows it to use all of its hunting behaviors if it wants to. Of course, there are risks outside for cats, but you need to balance these with the very positive aspects of physical and mental stimulation and an outlet for natural behavior. Indoors versus Outdoors Can I have a cat with a baby or young children? There is no reason not to have a cat or kitten if you have children. It is up to parents to teach their children from the very beginning how to approach, stroke, and handle cats and to treat them kindly. Many children have fantastic relationships with their cats and learn about respecting other creatures and being gentle, it is done successfully all the time, but it is up to parents to lay down the rules. Perhaps taking on a new kitten when you have a new baby or a toddler might be a lot to handle at once, so ensuring you have time for all the parties is part of a successful relationship. Likewise, if you are pregnant there is no need to get rid of the cat. Simple and basic hygiene precautions and common sense management of the cat, while the baby is small, can ensure all cohabit happily and safely. Should I get an adult cat or a kitten? A kitten gives you the opportunity to take on an animal right from the beginning and treat it and care for it so that it gets the best start in life. You will also be able to get some idea of its character. However, kittens require a lot of attention and some forethought to prevent them from getting into trouble. If you leave them alone you have to make sure they will be safe while you are away. You may also have to organize neutering, initial vaccinations, and so on, depending on where you get your kitten from. Where to get a cat or kitten and what to ask. With adult cats, it is at least clear if they are long or short-haired. You should be able to get a good idea of a cat's personality, although if it is being kept in less than ideal circumstances and is stressed or frightened it may act very differently compared to when it is relaxed. A confident adult cat is likely to move in and settle down quite quickly, a nervous one may take more time. It will be much easier to leave an older cat alone in the knowledge that it is not going to get itself into trouble, and it will generally be much less hard work and worry than a kitten. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.